Hi there, Wendy here from Dress So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw Princess Merida from Disney's Brave. So let's get started. With Princess Merida, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a very round U, the bottom of a U. So right here, I'm going to start and go all the way across with a U. And so this is the base of her face right here. And now we can go straight up towards the center. Go up right here. Give yourself a point and we're going to start to draw her hair. So Marita's hair is very, very curly. And so um, the whole goal that we're trying, the goal that we're trying to do right here is just to create all these little curls. So from this point right here, we're going to come down with one strand of curl. So I'm just going to curve it around and come back up and go back to where you started. So that's one strand right there and come over here and I'm going to draw another very curly strand that comes all the way down to here. So I'm just going to start curving and come up. And so from here we're going to go back, just kind of follow your curve that you did and get thicker, wider I mean, as you go back up. So from here let's go to the other side. We're going to draw another curve that comes down to this point. So this is your center. Come up. So this is a bigger curve. Come down and curve it up. So once again, same thing on the other side. We're just going to follow the curve that you did and getting wider as you go up and come back in to the center. And so from here, we're going to go straight up. Give yourself a point. So this is the top of her hair that we're trying to draw right here. So from here, we're going to go up down and give her one curl and so from this side I just want to show you the tops first so this side we're just going to go up as well and come down with one curve that comes down and curves back so we're just trying to make it um, not exactly the same on both sides just to make it more interesting so let's go and finish this side first so I'm not going to keep saying curves <laughs> or I'm going to drive you crazy. But the whole point right here, I'm just going to be drawing a lot of little curves. So I'm just going to keep coming down. One. So it's kind of like drawing flames or a wave. And another one. So it doesn't have to be exactly, but the whole point is just to draw these little curves here and there. And we want to have a shape that comes around her head. So maybe one more right here and come down. And I'm just going to stop right there because I still have to draw her body. So let's try to work on the other side. So something slightly different. I'm going to come draw another curve. I come around. You can go crazy <laughs> with all these little curves. So, but just remember your general shape is to go around her face. So you're just going to build these curves and come around. So maybe another one like that. Coming in and I'm going to stop about there. So then you can go back in and draw some details, some lines right here. So all coming from the center because that's her where her hair parts. So maybe another big one and maybe one more, however you like it. And right here you can just kind of draw the line down very softly. <laughs> And so now let's go and uh, bring Princess Merida to life and give her two big draw so cute eyes. So right here, 
I'm gonna give her one and another one on this side. And so draw so cute eyes, two small circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom. So thank you for all the requests for all these Disney princesses. I have still many more to go and I hope you love all the princesses that I have drawn I have drawn so far. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you won't miss any uh, new Disney princesses that I draw. I draw. <laughs> and I'm going to be starting to draw, well I've drawn one villain already. So I plan to draw many more. So appreciate if you just subscribe and you can keep getting updates on all these cute princesses. So right here, well let's go and finish this side first before I do the lashes. <laughs> so here, once again, I got talking and I got carried away. So curve line and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And so for her lashes, very simple. I'm just gonna draw three curves and go back in and thicken it. So same thing on the other side, right here. One, two, three. And go back in, thicken it. And give her very simple soft eyebrows. So from here, I'm just gonna draw a soft curve up. And a smile right here in the center. And cap it off. There, <laughs> our cute little Princess Merida. And so now let's go and draw her outfit. So right here, I'm gonna give her I'm going to round it off right here for her shoulder. And so then right here, you kind of know that's where her armpits are right here. And I'm going to draw two angle lines. And she has this um, robe right here, her outfit, her dress is kind of off the shoulder. So I'm going to come down right here towards the center. And I'm going to draw a V. And right here I'm going to curve. Kind of following her um, face and curve it up. I'm going to draw another line right here because it's a gold trim. So I'm just going to follow my top line and go up. So from here I'm going to draw her arm first because it's in the forefront. So that um, makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to come down. Her arm is bent. So I'm going to come down. And right here, I'm going to angle it. And follow. And connect it. And so for her hand right here, kind of know that um, she has a belt right here. So let's, um, well, let's draw her hand right here. So it's just a curve, very simple hand I'm trying to draw right here. Curve it around and right here, connect it with a curve. And so from this angle, we're going to draw a belt that comes across. But before we do that, let's continue this line because her dress is pretty simple. We're just going to continue this line down. And keep going. So we know that her hand is on her belt, so we're going to curve it up and follow the same curve up there. And I'm just going to pop it out a little bit. You can erase it if you're using a pencil, just that line. And I'm going to continue the belt across her here. And pop it out a little bit outside here too. So it looks like it's going around. And so for some detail right here for her um, her sleeves, 
she has this center part right here on the elbow that kind of um, poofs out a little bit. So I'm going to come poof it out a little bit and then I'll erase it when I color it on the computer. And there's some details right here, so some lines, curves. And so for this hand, let's go in and draw this hand. It's also bent and it's on her hip. So I'm going to come down. So right here, I'm going to come down, follow, and I'm going to come around. And connect it. So right here, her hand's really simple on her hip. I'm just going to connect the line. And right here, I'm going to come in with another line. And down here, I'm going to connect it with a curve. And so once again, some details right here on the elbow. Pop it out. And curve lines inside. And so now we can finish her dress. So let's come down. And keep going down to about the same height. And we're just going to connect it with some curves. So like a little wave around. And for some details, I'm just going to give it a gold trim. There were many variations on her dress. So some was really simple, some was really extravagant. <laughs> so I just decided to give it a gold trim here. So give it some color. And right here, just go up with some lines to indicate some folds in her dress. So very softly, just go up. And you'll see a little bit of her shoe, not too much. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve. A U slanted. And right here, just going to another one, but you can even see it even less. And so right here, we got to draw her arrows because she is Princess Marita, right? <laughs> And so right here, I'm going to draw her the little holder that, so it's just basically a rectangle, two lines at an angle connected to hold her arrows. And so for some arrows, I'm just going to draw like maybe, let's see here that you'll see four of them in there. Lines that follow the same angle and at the top here, pretend you're drawing like leaves. For the feathers, maybe one more that you'll see. And so then we can go in and finish her hair. So I'm just gonna finish the curves so you won't be able to see it behind there. And I'm gonna make this hair, this part, really long because she has really long um, curly red hair. So I'm gonna keep going, go crazy. <laughs> and just sweep it back. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> and so for some details right here, I'm just going to sweep another detail line right there. And right here, maybe another one. So she has so much hair, you don't even see her ears. <laughs> so I didn't forget her ears this time. <laughs> and if you want it, um, you could put a little arrow I mean, that arrow, her bow, right here in her hand. This is optional, but I thought, I, as I was sketching this, I did it without her bow. And, um, but at the end, I'm like, she sh should have a bow, right? So I'm just going to add one right here. If you want it, you could do the same thing. She's kind of holding the string of the bow. So I'm just going to come down, slight curve. So you will see a little bit of going past. And right here, I'm going to come with a curve for the handle in her bow and connect it. So it's just a very simple bow and I thought it makes sense um, of her holding the string, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it does make sense and I hope you like it. <laughs> so there, my Princess Merida from Disney's Brave. Hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Draw So Cute videos. See you later.